What's going on YouTube, it's Milkman here for Combat Evolved. Today we're going to be talking about the Warzone Firefight update coming to Halo 5 this Wednesday 29th for free. There's going to be Warzone Firefight, new maps, score attack, new wrecks and HCS team skins. There's a lot to talk about so we're going to go straight into Warzone Firefight. If you don't know what Firefight is, Firefight was introduced into Halo in Halo 3 ODST. It was also seen in Halo Reach and is now being brought back into Halo 5 Guardians in the Warzone world. Teams of 8 players will go up against Promethean and Covenant uh, AI and they'll try to battle to get the highest score and complete each objective based wave and survive till the end. If you played the beta, you know what it's all about and as you can see they've changed the UI and added some new objectives. We've got a Promethean core here that we have to defend on this certain map and we don't know whether it's going to be map specific for these objectives or whether they're going to be different depending on what map you're playing on. Um, they've also changed the way that the death system works. If you die in the early rounds when playing this, you get a, quite a small respawn, but if you die in those later rounds, you're going to get a bit of a longer respawn, so they've tried to ump the difficulty by making it important that you do not die. And they've also said they've changed the way that the RP and XP works, and the faster you complete and the higher score that you get during the uh, firefight game, you'll get more RP and XP. So uh, make sure you, you know, you're making, making good progress, completing the waves quick, and getting a high score. We're now going to look at some of the new Warzone maps. So this is Attack on Sanctum. This is going to be the Sangheili themed map. Uh, it's going to be brand new for Warzone. Um, looks pretty interesting. The Sangheili themed uh, campaign missions were definitely my favourite. I think they just look really awesome. Got the uh, the stone statues of the elites with the swords and stuff. And it's just going to be really interesting to play on this map, I think. Um, some of the videos that 343 have shown of this map, it just looks really awesome. And um, we're just going to see how this plays out. So next we're going to look at Prospect. This is the Warzone Assault map variant for Skirmish at Dawnstar. Skirmish at Dawnstar is actually my favourite Warzone map and uh, Warzone Assault is my favourite Warzone game type so it's going to be pretty cool to play on this. Can't wait to see how it changes and um, you know how it's going to be for attack and defence and it's just great to have another new map to play in Warzone Assault. Now we're looking at Molten. This is going to be the new arena map. It is a remix of the rig and uh, if you watch 343's uh, video series Sprint or The Sprint You'll have seen on uh, one of the developer screens they are working on this map. It's taken them a little while to get this map out, but now it's back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not that big of a fan of remixes uh, of maps for Arena. But as long as the map doesn't look completely the same and it plays differently, I'm not too bothered. It's said that this map's going to be good for Slayer and uh, Strongholds, the same as the Rig. So when this update drops, we'll have to see how this differs from the Rig. Next, we're going to be looking at Tidal. This is the new Forge Canvas. And um, there's going to be brand, um, I'm expecting this to be loads of brand new Forge items and they haven't really said too much about it. Um, but there's been a tease that could be every single uh, Warzone wreck, that being weapons and vehicle, is going to be able to be spawned in, in Forge. So if you've never been able to play with a Norn Fang or Prophet's Bane or something like that, you'll be able to drop one in and check it out in uh, this update hopefully. Next we're going to be looking at Score Attack. So Score Attack is back for the Halo 5 campaign. Um, score Attack, you're going to be able to earn medals, put skulls on to get different multipliers and play with your friends to see who can earn the biggest score in a uh, campaign mission. There's also going to be a um, time attack, so underneath your um, career, you're going to be able to see your quickest solo and co-op time and also the highest score you manage to get when playing either solo or co-op in different missions as you can see on the screen now. There's going to be loads of new achievements also tied to Score Attack in this next coming update, so make sure you check out for those when the update drops on Wednesday. We're now going to be looking at some of the new wrecks. So here you can see scrolling down on the screen the wreck spreadsheet as I like to call it. Showing all the new things coming. Got all the new weapons, armor, emblems and uh, mods coming. And you can also see the Halo 3 beam rifle down there. Um, there's two variants of it as well. So it's going to be awesome to see how they uh, do this. If the variants are going to be kind of like similar to the other snipers or are they going to be unique. It's going to be awesome to see how they work. This is a look at the Wasp, the UNSC vehicle. It's supposed to be high DS, DPS but low armor. So it might be kind of a UNSC Phaeton. Have to see how that works. And also we've got the Temple Vehicles, the Banshee, the Ghost, and the Wraith. I've got a feeling these are going to be EMP resistant, but I've got to say, that Golden Banshee does look awesome, so I hope to get my hands on that pretty soon. Now we're going to be looking at one of the new Warzone bosses, the Grunt Mech. Now when I first saw this, I actually thought it was a joke, but it is actually going to be a new boss that we're going to be fighting against in Warzone. So as you can see, it's a big Grunt Mech, it's got a Needler, and there's actually a tiny little, um, tiny little Grunt that's actually controlling this in the back. Um, so it's got some pictures, some concept art, and some GIFs here of how it's going to work. But it's going to be really interesting to see how this works. Um, apparently it can shoot up to 8 people at once with this Needler. So you're definitely going to want to be teaming up to take this down. And if you do unfortunately get shot by it, this is what you're going to be looking like. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. To top this video off, we're going to be talking about the HES team skins. So if you've been keeping up with the Halo Championship series, you'll know that CLG are the big dominant team. And uh, you're going to be able to purchase a pack which unlocks the Canology Gaming... AR, pistol skin, and emblem. There's also going to be team skins for Evil Geniuses and Optic coming out on this Wednesday, and they have also stated that this is on the only these aren't the only teams that are going to be coming. There's going to be other teams coming um, in later updates. So if you're a fan of Renegades or you really like Enigma Six or you want to get your hands on some Allegiant skins, hold off for now because I'm sure they'll be coming in uh, future updates. Um, 
But I'm really uh, interested in the competitive Halo scene and uh, the HCS. And I really want to get my hands on these EG Evil Geniuses skins. EG is my favourite team. And um, I'm definitely going to be buying one of these packs when they come out on Wednesday. Um, it has also been stated on Twitter by 343 that these packs are only going to be able to bought with money. You're not going to be able to buy these with um, rec points. So if you've been grinding and saving up, unfortunately you're going to have to spend a little dollar to get these. But all the proceeds of these packs goes directly to the HCS team. So if you really want to support your uh, favourite HCS team, make sure you buy one of these packs. That's about it for now. Um, the only other thing I've got to say is they are making Halo 5 Guardians free for all Xbox Live Gold members from when this update drops for a week. So if you know some friends that haven't played Halo 5 before, make sure they know about this because it's going to be free and you know they can check it out. They might love it and might end up buying the game. That's going to be it for now. Um, make sure you get on Xbox Live on Wednesday 29th, download this update, play some Firefight and stuff. It's going to be awesome to play this. Apart from that, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. That's going to be all from me guys, so see you later.